dear colleagues, my biggest take home was about the the the, the iceberg model, and the systems thinking, and uh, there was also lots of uh, take home uh, from the coverage of COP26, especially when you're back home in Uganda. Environmental issues <laughs> and environment. It's not something that we should leave only to the journalists to talk about because environment is us, environment is all of us, environment is everything surrounding us. So environmental issues are a, a concern of everyone since environment is everyone. Finding out uh, unique and crucial environmental challenges uh, within the community in which we live has been one of the biggest takeaways that I have that uh, the issues affecting our environment are not very far. They live with us, so we need to act so fast. Grading the environment is everyone's responsibility and uh, for journalists we should uh, employ the systems thinking method so as to find stories that will help us with the environment. Happily, got a chance to call, to network and collaborate with other journalists who are who have more experience than me in the field, and I believe this is good for my future working and for my impact in the environment reporting field. Iceberg method of reporting um, has been the largest takeaway for me because it has helped me um, not only know that my story should be richer, but it has also given me the tools of uh, the, the things I should consider when writing my story. That is, I should not only always look at what everyone else is looking at, digging deeper to get the entire story and the, all the myths around it and every other part that is to make the story richer and bigger. The way how journalists who attended this fellowship have come out with justified answers. <laughs> and, and what I know is that these people, they will be... Uh, of great value to their newsrooms. Knowledge shared amongst us about environmental reporting and meeting everyone has been incredible. I can't forget and I wait to be back again. Learning is a continuous process. As environmental journalists, we should always be refreshed. This was a refreshing course for me. Mountains have proven a huge resource for this country, offering monetary uh, value. However, there's a lot we need to look into when covering them because uh, the environment and the people living around the mountains are suffering because of issues that have been ignored by journalists. So we need to dig deeper and look into them. Ability to dissect various stakeholders of a, an environmental reporting story has been one of my biggest takeaways. I have to ensure that even those people who are little mentioned in our environmental stories are included in my reporting. Uh, bridging the gap between my motivations, assumptions on a story and the questions I actually ask and what I get from the field. Networking is such a key thing and um, an activity to undertake as a journalist and it's what is going to make or break you. Networking, collaboration, uh, just like somebody stated earlier, that uh, this thing, reporting about the environment, is a journey. And uh, I'm taking away so many things from here. One of them is meeting young, passionate people who are more knowledgeable than I even thought when I was coming in the other day in the morning. I feel encouraged. And I know the future is really bright. Stay on. Keep reporting about this sector. This sector, just like my brother there said, it's about everyone, it's about life, it's about governance because that's where we get the biggest challenges. The environment doesn't have a problem and it can exist without us. But we who interact with it on a daily basis and uh, do bad things in there and we are not accountable to anybody, we are the part of the problem. But we as journalists, we can play a very big role by uh, um, seeking accountability, helping the masses to understand their interaction with the environment better, holding their leaders accountable and bringing them this information. But today, I look at a bright future with you guys. And remember, 
from those more has been given more will be what yeah as you seek for accountability we shall also ask for accountability from you guys what we have given you today it has to multiply and then of course cause change in this country thank you comprehensively understanding more about system thinking and being <laughs> Being something that has already pushed us to uh, exploit our mental capacities on how to create ideas and also interact and yeah.